What is this? Um, 10 ways Lord of the Rings has aged poorly. Despite being a significant benchmark in fantasy epics, Lord of the Rings hasn't entirely stood the test of time. What? So, let me see this. For people wondering, this is from an actual, real article, but all Sean decided to delete it after some insane backlash. Here's what he says in the archived version. Five out of ten student uh, Lord of the Rings uh, books lack diversity. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not really a surprise. I mean, it's, it's a European story written by a white guy. It's probably going to be about white people and Europeans. Like, big surprise. It, it's crazy how, uh, <laughs> like, what? Of course that's the case. Uh, some races in Lord of the Rings are inherently evil. Uh, what makes that bad? I don't know about that. Yeah, Tolkien's work uh, features uncomfortable racial terminology. Okay. A clear example of this comes in Chapter 10 of The Fellowship of the Ring, when Aragorn is discussing the Nazgul with Barlam and Butterbur. The innkeeper says that no black man shall pass my doors while I can stand on my legs, and also refers to the Nazgul using a slur. These lines have aged very poorly and are likely to detract from the intended message of love and cooperation in the books. Uh, Tolkien's world uh, features very few women. Man. It's just dumb. Yeah, I feel like this is a person, this is my opinion, a person writes an article like this when, you know, they're behind on rent and they need to make some money. A hundred fucking percent. It's got to be bait. Uh, these people are going to write Jaws prequel that validates the shark's behavior because it had an abusive shark father. Yeah, about that. 